Hello. In this lecture, we will be performing an example problem, and we will use Ohm's Law, uh, Kirchhoff's Current Law, and Kirchhoff's Voltage Law, but the uh, purpose of this example is to highlight Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. Our learning objective is objective number two, which is to be able to state and use Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws to analyze simple circuits. Okay, let's take a look at our example here. Um, use Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's law to find I sub zero. Okay, so I sub zero is this guy right here. Um, <clears throat> now Kirchhoff's Voltage law states that the sum of uh, voltages in a loop um, is equal to zero. So we have in this example, we have two loops, one, and we call this current I sub one, and two. So let's perform Kirchhoff's voltage law for loop one. Uh, we'll start at this node and we move up through this element. And uh, so that would be minus 120 volts. And we will give polarity to each of our elements here. So we'll call this V sub zero, we'll call this one V sub 50. Okay, so minus 120 plus V sub zero plus V sub 50 is equal to zero. So that's our first equation. KVL loop two um, says minus V sub 50, and we'll call this plus minus V sub I is, let's see, and then plus V sub I is equal to zero. So we're moving around this direction. So minus V sub 50, and then we're coming down through the plus, so that's plus V sub I. Okay, so this one we could say V sub I is equal to V sub 50. All right, let's erase some of this mess here. So we called this V sub 50. Um, now let's do uh, KCL at this node, A, here. So um, I sub zero is entering the node, six amps is entering the node, and we'll call this current going down here, I sub 50. So uh, KCL at node A, we have coming in I sub zero plus six and leaving, we have I sub 50. Okay, so we have some unknowns here. Uh, we've got V sub zero is an unknown, V sub 50. Um, oh, that should be a 50 here. And V sub I is equal to V sub 50, so we have two unknowns here. We have two unknowns here. So what can we do? Well, let's, um, let's use Ohm's law. Apply Ohm's law. And we'll put this in here. So um, minus 120 plus V sub zero, which is um, 
i sub 0 times, so v sub 0 is equal to, using Ohm's law, i sub 0 times 10. So we'll call that 10 i sub 0. And then v sub 50 is i sub 50 times 50. And we have an expression for i sub 50, so we'll substitute that in. So we have 50 times i sub 0 plus 6, and that is equal to 0. So let's simplify. Let's put minus 120 plus 10 i sub 0 plus 50 i sub 0 plus 300 is equal to 0. And let's put uh, these two guys on the right. So we'll have 60 i sub 0 is equal to 30, 300 minus 120 is minus 180. So i sub 0 is equal to minus 180 divided by 60 which is equal to minus 3 amps. All right, if I sub 0 is equal to minus 3 amps, then we know from this equation, I sub 50. So I sub 50 is equal to I sub 0 minus 3 amps plus 6, which is plus 3 amps. All right, so we have a few things here. Um, we were supposed to find I sub 0, which we did. Um, now they want us to test the solution for I sub 0 by verifying that the total power generated equals the total power dissipated. All right, let's move that down here. <clears throat> so we have I sub 0 is minus 3 amps, and we set this voltage here with that polarity, and this is plus 3 amps. And we said that this voltage here is equal to um, V sub I is equal to V sub 50 here. So V sub I is equal to V sub 50, which is 3 amps times 50 ohms, which is 150 volts. Okay, so we need all three of those in order to find our power at each of the elements. So power generated is um, at the sources. So let's calculate the power at the sources. And it's minus VI, right, for this guy here. Let me move that over. P equals minus VI for this one because our current is coming in at the negative terminal and leaving at the positive. So minus voltage is 120 volts and current is minus 3 amps. Which would give us, what, 360, a plus 360 um, volts. So that's actually not generated. That's dissipated because it's positive. Now let's look at this one. Um, 
our current is entering the negative terminal and leaving the positive. So power is equal to minus VI, which is minus 150 volts and 6 amps, which is, I'm going to have to use a calculator here. Excuse me. Okay, that'd be minus 900, oh, I said volts here, that's watts. Minus 900 watts. So this one is dissipating because it's positive. And this one is supplying or generating. So total would be minus 540 watts supplied or generated by the sources. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at the resistors. Um, resistors typically um, dissipate, so power dissipated. Um, resistor, the 10 ohm resistor, uh, so power at the 10 ohm is, we could say either I, I naught squared R, or we could say V naught squared R, um, but we know the current, so let's go with that one. We calculated the current. So it's minus 3 amps squared times R, which is 10 ohms. So here we have 90 watts dissipated. Um, at the 50 ohm resistor, we also have our I sub 50 squared, or we could use V sub 50, but I wrote down the current, so let's go with that one. And we said it was three amps and 50 ohm resistor, so nine times 50 is 450 watts. And when we add this together, we get 540 watts positive. So this is dissipated. Okay, so we have 540 watts supplied and we have 540 watts dissipated. Um, so that checks that uh, test the solution for I sub zero. So that works for us. Okay, that concludes this example problem.